It's for a rap video segment. Dragon knee on the dragon tail. <laughs> tail. What's up guys, Sean here from SRKCycles.com. We have a 2010 Honda VFR 1200F. And this is the automatic DCT model. And uh, let's take it for a spin. First of all, where's the shifter? Where's the clutch? It's kind of it's confusing. Let's put it in a uh, couple different modes. Let's put this thing in uh, the sport mode. Let's drive. Now we're in sport. Okay, so once you get it to the right mode, and those two, now it's two different modes. There's a, all right, so we're in sport mode, and you shift up, shift with up here, down, shift down here. Now what? Now apparently, it, it, depending on where you read, some people say this thing has 170 horsepower. Some people say it has 140 horsepower. It probably has 170 to the crank, and probably has 140 to the wheel. Let's get out of the way so Caleb doesn't get hit by a truck. Realistically, he probably has 140 to the wheel, which does feel about that way. Oh yeah, let's start the day like we always should. Match 22, 37 to 38. And he said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and foremost commandment. I know that one, but I know that one. I didn't have to read it. Oh, is this thing shifting by itself? I'm, just, I'm still trying to figure out what this thing does and how it does it. You can't stall this bike. Let's see if it is shifts by itself. Okay, right now it's not shifting by itself. I'm shifting it. Let me see if I can change it to a full automatic mode. Ah! I got something in my eye. Okay, I'll just go without me, man. I got something in my eye. No! I want you to live a good life. <laughs> I want you to dance like no one's looking. Or just don't dance at all. <laughs> so it's got AT mode. Alright, so it manually downshifts. We know that for sure. Let's see. I got it. Okay, so there's an ATMT button. I want to have that manual transmission, automatic. Let's go. I'm trying to see if it'll upshift automatically. You can't even hear it, man. It's like so smooth. I don't. I don't know how that works. All right, forget. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shift it myself. Um, yeah, it is a very smooth bike. It's a very smooth, very powerful bike. The guy that owned this is actually an 84 year old man, which is insane, and he still rides. The guy is super healthy. He drives a cool GTI, um, and the dude had this thing set up with a radar detector because he didn't want to get busted because they probably the guy flies around going like 120 miles an hour. Um, What's that thing do? A radar detector? Yeah. It tells you when the police are running radar. It tells you when they can actually block you. Whoa! I, just, I, just, I should have been expecting it, but I was not expecting that. You know when you really get on a bike for the first time and you get that like sensation in your, like, your stomach? You know, like in your womb, in your, uh, what word am I thinking of? Uh, in your, uh... The pit ugh. of your stomach? No, it's a Bible word. Bosom. In your in bosom? Your, in your bosom. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, let's do this. I got that. That is so smooth and effortlessly. That's so smooth. If you've ever ridden like some of the newer uh, like paddle shifts, like VWs, they're not like 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 the newer ones. They were kind of a little jerky. It didn't feel very comfortable. 
this is flawless. This is smoother than me if I'm shifting myself. This is like first gear, in second gear. It's just, it's just perfect. And even when you're starting the bike out, it feels like um, you don't feel any, uh, any disconnect from you and the tires. It just feels like a direct connection, even though I'm not sure if there is. Now, something interesting about this bike is although it has, let's say it's got 140 horsepower, you don't always have access to that 140 horsepower. It, it gives you more and more and more as the RPMs go up and up and up. I, I just I just tried to I just tried to shift. Okay, it'll downshift by itself. I just tried to downshift with my foot. So even though it's gas, it's like the Tesla of motorcycles. I'm gonna see if this will shift by itself. When I put it in S mode, it does. It, it shifts in a second as soon as I press that button. It's always really good to test all these things while you're riding it. Yeah, yeah, like while you're doing it. So you spend most of your time looking down right. instead of looking. That's exactly what I was thinking. It, it, it's so, it's so, it's very fast. It's not fast. No, it's very fast. Oh. It's extremely fast. But because it's so smooth, it just it's 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 so it's effortlessly. What a fun bike! How much are those things brand new? <coughs> they were like 16k brand new. Dang, that's a lot. Yeah, that's big money. The downshift <coughs> is perfect. Now I don't know if if I can like. I don't think you want to. I don't know what you do if you're trying to downshift and you're going fast and you want to like match your rev so you don't. I'm sure it has a slipper clutch, but um, what a cool bike. I kind of want to go off on a, on a stop real fast. You see? You see what I mean, guys? You can give it, it just, it, it, it eases, it uses the computer system to ease into the, uh, the horsepower. I don't know why they do that, but it's, it makes it smooth and much more, um, much more usable. I need to put tires like that on my truck. That'd be sick, your ride would be so smooth. Oh, uh, where's that bump that I have to miss? No, dude, they covered it over. No, did they? Yeah, I noticed that last time we were riding. No way, just because of our videos. Probably. Wow. They were like, now that we have celebrities in town, we gotta cover that stuff up. Yeah. Now that that bump made celebrities. <laughs> so, on honestly, I would probably take... What is that thing down there? Mute, okay. I would take this thing off put it in your car or something like that I don't know it's gotta get some away radar detector what do you think Caleb would you keep a radar detector on your bike no I think it looks so dumb and if you go out of state there's some states where it's illegal yeah I'm just I, I just think it looks stupid and there's no hiding it right here right right what is that the cops like got a radar detector and you're like nah the mp3 player it's a uh, it's a cup holder with no ring. I I, could, I I think it passes for an MP3 player. Oh okay okay maybe like a CD maybe like a uh, a tape deck. Yeah so this is like a sport touring bike. Um, a lot of guys say that it's kind of has like an identity crisis when it comes to the sport touring. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I made it. I made it. History will know that I made it. Uh, taking it right right here. I, a lot of people say it kind of has like an identity crisis of sport touring and which one it does more and stuff like that. I don't think so. I don't know. I think all I think all sport tourings are just kind of they're they're gonna one's gonna swing towards the sport pendulum a little more. One's gonna swing towards the touring pendulum a little, a little more. What's what's the deal? 
You know, they can't all be the exact same amount of sport and touring. I think it's a little more sport than it is, uh, than it is touring, but <clears throat> it doesn't do one very bad. All right, from here, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like launch it. You are sitting very aggressively, which is kind of nice. Right. You all right? You just stall out. No, I can't stall out. Right, I'm gonna like, like full throttle it. Hold on, wait for it. All right. Full throttle, full throttle, full throttle. There we go, there we go. All right, see, it wasn't until like 6,000 RPM where it actually like gave me the juice. So if it's that if it's that easy off the throttle, then like could someone who isn't super experienced ride this bike? Yes, because you don't. It, it, it leaves you. It leaves room for error. For error in the throttle. Right. Just like you know, I I I, I told you I had a ride uh, this weekend, and it was just very obvious that he just he's not used to a little bit of throttle. A lot of the, you know, it just right. You you know when your throttle hands just a little bit. You haven't like really worked those muscles and that that connection to your brain of a really light hand. Right. Um, you know that muscle memory. Up. Oh, then shouldn't have done that. What? Well, with a with a push of a button, you can accidentally upshift it. No, downshift it to the wrong gear. Um, so cool. Yeah. So this this would be pretty fairly forgiving bike unless you're at the higher RPMs. You know. Right. Turning here. Turning here. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. It's a nice truck. It's a, it's a height. It's definitely a sporty bike though. I mean, I can definitely see someone like Dragon, Dragon Knee on the Dragon Toe. Yo, rap video, get next to me. It's for a rap video segment. Dragon Knee on the Dragon Toe. <laughs> Toe. After we leave the Dragon. All right. Hi guys, this is a cool bike. I really didn't get a chance to like crush it and show you how fast it was, but it is a very fast bike. Um, it is for sale. Remember guys, it's not what you're riding, but where are you going? And don't be that guy that doesn't wear his jacket when he rides, even though it's hot. I know it's hot. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's like, oh, it's too hot. I feel pretty good. Hi right, guys, see you later.